<laughs> Hi, my Facebook world. I'm going to hold on here because this is so important to me um, that you hear clearly this story. And I've got some of you faithful followers. So when you dial in, um, first of all, I want you to know that you're hearing us well. And if you are, when you populate here, I just need to dial in and say, hi, okay, hi, I see you're starting to join on. <laughs> I am here with Stephanie Kroon. And um, anybody that's watching right now, can you hear me uh, very well? So if you can, Judy, do me a favor. Judy, hi, can you hear me and Stephanie, if Stephanie starts talking? Yes. Can you hear Stephanie? Hi. Because this story is so important that I want to make sure that everybody that is out there listening is hearing this. So a thumbs up, drop a little one in the comments, and let us know that you're hearing it. Because we need this to be heard. <laughs> this is my friend Stephanie Kroon, and I'm going to I'm going to launch in here and start sharing her story. I met her last night, and when she told me about her story, I said, we have got to share your story. It needs to go live. It needs to be shared. So Stephanie, um, tell me, just begin to share with me uh, what you shared last night. I'm going to move this okay. a little bit closer to make sure, and you are the featured guest okay. here. So um, uh, please let me know, talk to us. What is your story about the magic of this little golden wonder? Okay, talk to us here. So I had the privilege of meeting Becky last night and was just sharing with her a little bit about um, our life and kind of our journey. And it, um, it starts seven years ago. Um, we were placed with um, a little boy. He was six months when he came home to us. Um, really not much information on um, his paperwork, but we fell in love with him immediately. Had him for six months and did adoption six months later. Um, through that process, tireless days and nights of screaming and crying and knowing that there is a lot going on inside of him but not really knowing what it was. So we pursued all kinds of therapies and medications and eventually by the age Love. of four we had him diagnosed with ADHD. Um, I knew that ADHD was only a symptom of what was really going on inside of his body. Um, so we started this process and it's been about three years of um, doing naturopathic medicine, a lot of different modalities, different therapies, um, several different medications, and finally was given the diagnosis of fetal alcohol syndrome, which we pretty much knew he had. Um, we just needed another set of eyes on him and really needed a professional to come in and help us. Um, so the fetal alcohol syndrome uh, diagnosis was given to us, and when we left Phoenix Children's Hospital, we left with a huge binder about this big. And I went home and dove right into it and read it. And, and at the end of it, all I said was, there's nothing for us. We, we've got nothing. And um, we were doing a lot of different therapies, one of them being a, co a cognitive behavior therapy. And we kind of came to the end of the road with that. And our family was just struggling so much. And she said to us, I, I really feel like something for you to consider might be a group home at this time. And I remember the tension in our, with my husband and I at that point. And the next day, we didn't talk about it, and the next day he said, um, I will cut off my right arm before that kid goes to a group home. He is ours. And I thought, you know what? I feel the same way. So um, I remember a couple of days going by and saying, you know, I, I can't do this with our family struggling, and it's not in my hands anymore. This is, this is, uh, I'm, I'm taking back control because I was like a hamster on a wheel just running and running and running trying to fix him and I I gave it up God this is yours um, intervene bring something to us and about four days later I was uh, I got I received a phone call um, someone had heard about my kiddo and she has um, a child with autism and she had tried some products that were incredibly healing for him and I said I'm in I always say I am that mom that will get in my car and drive to the desert of Mexico and pick that plant that nobody's ever heard of before if I, there's any kind of hope that it might work. So I met her in the parking lot of a JC Penney's <laughs> and was handed um, a group of, of some products and I started him on a protocol that was um, given to, 
given to me, it was advised for me to do. And at this point, again, exhausted all, everything, and I was in. So about four days later, my kiddo with high sensory, doesn't like to be touched, um, held my hand and told me they loved me. And we had a, a significant reduction in our length of tantrums that we were having. Um, and the story just got a little bit better. A couple weeks later, um, we were really busy in our home and I forgot to give the nighttime medication that helps him sleep. And I came home from the gym the next morning and it was 6.30 and he's still sleeping. I thought, this is really strange. <laughs> That's not normal. Seven o'clock, still sleeping. About 7.15, he wakes up rubbing his eyes. And we're about five weeks in on, on the protocol that they set us on. Um, so the next day, we forgot the medicine again. The next day, forgot the medicine again, this nighttime medication. I touch base with my husband. I said, have you been given the medicine? No, have you? No. So we stopped the medication. So we have reduced, one medication is gone. It was his nighttime medication. It's actually a blood pressure medication that's to help him sleep, help, help with impulsivity, help with um, aggressive, uh, aggressive behavior. Um, and just to go back on that, um, we were also doing that medication, not just for sleep, but also because he had been, he, first grade, um, in three months had been suspended nine times. So he has a really hard time with body control, um, hard time, it's not his heart, it's not who he is. He's an amazing kid. Um, he doesn't intend to ever hurt anyone, but when you don't have control over your body and you get super excited, sometimes, other kids are, are hurt in that and um, thankfully we have an amazing team at school but again I'm super excited to have him on this because now we have one medication that he's off of and I, and I'm in I'm fully in I'm seeing I'm just super excited about how we continue on this if I'm seeing this at six weeks what am I gonna see at six months what will I see in one year I don't know but I can tell you that I'm not stopping um, because the journey's pretty fun and I'm excited to see what else comes our way so that's, oh, that's the story. <laughs> that's amazing. So, yeah. so those of you that came in a little bit late, um, Stephanie has a son that she adopted at birth with fetal alcohol syndrome, and they didn't know for quite some time. Now, Stephanie, what is your professional background? I'm a um, licensed holistic nutritionist, and I I work in the healthcare field, and had exhausted. I felt like all natural therapies. Um, high doses of omega-3s, homeopathic medicine, um, no gluten, no dairy, to where we didn't see progress. This is, I feel like, the first time that we have been able to try a natural product that we've actually seen some good positive results. I'm seeing it in his brain. I mean, if you, if we can, if we can help his brain, help the inflammation, because if you think about fetal alcohol syndrome, for the entire time that he was in, in utero, he was being showered, showered with stress, with a drug, with toxins and his little body uh, isn't capable of being able to detoxify that and get rid of that so that that's what I feel like we're currently doing um, we're utilizing a product that has been clinically shown scientifically proven to reduce oxidative stress by 40% in the first 30 days so when I heard that I said yeah I have the perfect person for this to, to start taking this um, and I and I and knowing the ingredients and they're all natural I, I didn't have any fear in trying this um, because I'm well educated on all natural supplements and, and ingredients and and again had tried so many other supplements but again I didn't feel like I had anything to lose in this um, I thought we'll give it a shot and we'll see what happens and I've been incredibly pleased so we're gonna inj interject one thing right here that this little yellow pill and she took that and there's a, a NRF1, NRF2, and then actually the probiotic as well. Probiotic. Because if we can increase that good gut flora and increase the good um, bacteria microbiome in the gut, that's going to increase those neurotransmitters to the brain and that's going to help regulate mood. More serotonin, if we can get more serotonin, sleep gets better as well. Yeah. And so. And then what about the Axio? And then the Axio. So we're also using a drink and at first he's so funny because again, you have sensory problems. So. Am I going to be able to get this in him? 
didn't like it the first couple of times, so I just put it in a little bit of water, and now he he even says, oh, it's my brain drink. Oh. And that's what we call it. It's your brain drink. How it cute. makes you be smarter and have better, make wow. better choices is what we call it. Wow. Makes so he has Axio in the morning, the caffeinated? Correct, because with ADHD, and the caffeine is more of a relaxing, it has a calming effect on him. Whereas somebody else who doesn't have any frontal lobe issues or damage or delays, um, the caffeine, they might be sensitive to that, but for this kiddo, he does actually really well with it. Mm -hmm. And we are still on our stimulant in the daytime medication, but super thankful that that nighttime medication has been, has been taken out of his protocol. It's been two weeks now, and he started June 1st. Wow, yeah. so it's only been six weeks. Yeah. So, you know, we'll never claim, and these products, we are not claiming, nor do we claiming these products heal mitigate, cure, or prevent any diseases at all. This is not what this is about. This is her story. This is her story about her how old son? He's now seven. Seven-year-old mm -hmm. son who has seen some life and sorry, yeah. little break there. And so she's so seen life-changing results that have resulted in life-changing um, family dynamic. Mm -hmm. And so this is their story. And what happens when you remove oxidative stress from your body? Your body begins to repair itself, and that's simply what has happened. And that was a story to be told. Who knew that a child birthed into fetal alcohol syndrome would have the kind of results from NERF-1 and NERF-2 activation? And uh, ProBio and our Axio mixed together at seven years old, the kind of results. So Stephanie, your story is amazing. I am so happy for you. And because of this, now she has to share it with her world, and she is sharing it with her world and show, seeing what can take place in other people's bodies and the lives of children that really could use this that wasn't any help for before. So thank you for sharing yeah. so much. Thank you for letting me share. All right. Well, yeah. you all have a beautiful day. And you know, as always, I love to share a great story. This is, yes, yes. Bob, what a blessing. Huge blessing. Changed their life. God is so good. God is good. <laughs> all right. Love you all, my Facebook friends. Mwah. Have a beautiful day.